Hey, welcome to the... I do that every time I pause and I wonder, what's the name of my podcast? Why I cannot remember this? I don't know. Anyways, welcome to the Expectant Knitter Plus One video podcast. I'm your host, Steph, also known as Knitting Samurai over on Ravelry. Are you as excited to be here as I am? Okay, so this is going to be a pretty pretty exciting episode. Lots of moving pieces to keep track of because there are going to be several prize drawings. So I made an announcement over on the board midweek that I'm going to start giving away yarn. I need some help. Okay, it's an issue, right? True confessions here. Um, one of my goals for 2012 was to keep my stash at the same level it was on January 1st or less by the end of the year. And here it is, the middle of March, and I downloaded out of Ravelry my stash size into Excel, and it's grown 4,000 yards. And I don't knit that fast, so that's with the uh, 1,600 yards I've knit taken out of it. So clearly I'm not practicing control. <laughs> Moderation. <laughs> um, any of the things I should be. So I thought that it might be fun for you as members of the group to um, get some prizes and it would be helpful for me to send out some of this yarn that you know doesn't speak to me anymore, that doesn't inspire me, that is just going to sit in the stash. So to that end there are going to be a lot of prizes. I've instituted a sort of like a membership drive so every 50 new members we get in the group I'm going to do a plus one fellow drive, drawing, prize drawing. So the plus one fellows are you guys and it's a pun on Roland's name. So, uh, <laughs> And the first one is today. So if you would like to get entered on that just go over and join the Ravelry group. It's just going to be a rolling forward drawing. Every week I'm going to pose a question and you can go comment on the thread to get yourself um, a a spot on the drawing, uh, an entry into the drawing, there we go. And besides that, I got a couple other things up my sleeve. So, let's get this dog and pony show on the road. Uh, first up, I have been, can you see the yarn over my shoulders? So yeah, it's just going to sit there and tease you until we get to the drawing part, which is going to be after the knitting part. So, you remember I spoke about the watershed cardigan slash vest, the lacy piece that I've been working on. Yeah, it's definitely um, bitten me. So I don't know if I lean back if you can see how long it is now, but I've got um, nine and a half repeats done on the body. The pattern calls for four for my size, but I've opted to um, clearly extend it. I'm gonna either go with 10 or 11. I just really like knitting the pattern, and if I can squeeze in another repeat, I will. Oh, and by the way, happy St. Patrick's Day! Um, <laughs> so, if I can squeeze in another repeat, I'm going to. I really like the lace edging. This is Dreaming Color Classy, and it is the color Gothic Rose. I am using US size 7, 4.5 millimeter needles, and like I said, I'm either four rows, half a pattern repeat, or 12 rows away from splitting off for the armhole depending on how I feel. I've tried it on, so if it splits here, it's going to hang right now like at the at my thigh crease where my body ends where I sit down. Oh, maybe it's a little lower than that. Yeah, I think one more repeat would be nice. So, and I still, this is my second skein, but I mean, after this, what's left, you know? So. This is the back, this is not the front. The lace panel goes in the back and the front has this beautiful, beautiful lace edging that when I block it, we will say, ah. <laughs> so, that's the watershed cardigan, going really well. I kinda like to finish it by the end of March. I kinda like to finish it this weekend, but I don't know if that's feasible or not. So, that's first on my needles. Um, the Downton Abbey, I talked about it last week, but that the camera shut off, so you didn't get to hear about it. Um, it's still sitting on my needles. I still love it very much, but haven't knit on it. The watershed has taken a great deal of my time, so I will get back to the Downton Abbey. Maybe it's Mother's Day gift. I don't know. We'll see. Um, dishcloths, I did do some work on that, so I showed you last time my spiral op art inspired dishcloth. 
and this is how it turned out. Yeah, it's more like a dish bowl than a dish cloth. It doesn't really sit flat. I'm sure once it's washed and wrung out and beat up, it'll be fine. It's going to clean just as well, but definitely a uh, pattern failure. I will not go with this one again. Uh, but it was good to try and I finished off this skein. So I knit like 10 of these the grandma's favorite dishcloths and I did them all different so it would be exciting for me and I want to knit down my stash right as part of this year so instead of putting back half a skein of this half a skein of that I'd like to finish off the skeins. So it's probably another 10 dishcloths in my future. <laughs> <laughs> but then it will be out of the stash and I'll feel good and next year at this time I won't have to knit new ones um, and then I did a mitered square based on just like a mitered square pattern with decreases in the center except I don't know if you can see this but it I clearly lost track of where I was going and I finished my decreases there and they should have been there but again it's a dishcloth nobody really looks that close Plus it's purple. I don't really know what to do with a purple fish claw. But that one's done. Another skein used up, finished, done, kaput, gone. So um, my mom, I got some black cotton yarn from Knit Picks to knit her some because she has black granite countertops and black. She's just very put together and would like black dish cloths instead of the confetti colored ones that I seem to churn out quite quickly. So, um, let's see, what else is on the needles? I, I, da 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 da, am hiding my ends from you because I never weave in my ends. I'm so bad at that. Until later, until it's like, go moment. Oh gosh, let me just weave those in. I finished the socks for Roland. He actually, had a little photo shoot with him on earlier today so I don't know if you can tell on the camera but they are they do come out for the calf shaping right there um, they are very square toed you can see it it's, I'm sorry I generally I tend to move a lot when I'm showing you something and that's what something I'd like to work on being better at so please yell at me if you notice it's like hold the object in front of the camera a little longer and let us look at it please that's one and then there's the other and they're so cute and they're super stretchy super stretchy but um, this is knit one crochet two socks appeal yarn in the color 9734 I knit these on US two and a half 3.0 millimeter needles and I think they came out great I really like them it looks like my bind off on the first one I did knit two together to bind everything off and it's a nice clean edge and on the second one I attempted to bind off in pattern and look at how awful that looks hmm note to self yeah yeah I won't do that again uh, when I finished those I pulled out another yarn with elastic in it and cast on for another pair for him because really he shouldn't be wearing the socks he has they're too small so these are or this yarn is patent stretch sock color 31242 um, also known as olive and it is a 41% cotton 39% wool 13% nylon 7% elastic yarn I started knitting this on 2.5 millimeter needles and realized that was really loose he's a baby he doesn't care <laughs> so I just switched mid row over to uh, 1.5 millimeter needle so it's gonna take me a little longer but I have a feeling that they're gonna fit him much better and be because the ribbing as I go up the same thing happened with the other one these are gonna snug in immensely it's not that they're the toe is all that much wider in fact it's it's a little wider but then the ribbing or I guess I should hold it like that so you can see then the ribbing is just gonna cinch it in over the top of the foot so so that's this I'm not wild about the color, it's, um, but it's masculine enough, I guess. I wouldn't wear it on my feet, so I'm getting it out of the stash on his feet. So those are done. I'm sure his father will like them. So they're not done. They're in progress, I should say. So that's that. And then one last thing I'm going to needles to show you, and that is... I wrote it down, but I didn't bring it in here, so you still don't get to see it. This is like three weeks in a row that I've worked on the Afterthought heels. 
um, afterthought heel socks that I was working on. It's like the second time I do an afterthought heel. And it's with loops and thread luxury sock yarn in the Canyon, Canyon colorway. It's basically that rainbow one. Um, I'm past the heel. I'm that much up the leg. I'm about to cast off the first sock. So I guess it'll be a surprise for you when you see it next time. You'll be like, whoa, the last time we saw it, it was a toe, and now it's a done sock. So yeah, that's where that is. Um, quickly, I don't know if anyone else out there gets uh, folk knitting, any of the other podcasts. You watch get it and talk about it, but I thought I'd just share. This is the most recent one, winter 2011-12. Yeah, I know, winter 2011 slash 12, but that this is the most recent one I got in the mail, so unless they're sending me back issues, I don't know. Um, the first pattern in it that I really loved is, they don't name their pattern, so I'll just show you the picture. They call it very easy. It's this beautiful, wrappy cape thing. It just looks so comfy. It's something you'd want to wear. and It's like a blanket you could wear. So I really like that, because usually, Vogue knitting is a bit out there, and I'm not a, a huge fan of what's in it. Um, and then there was this one, which is very easy, rated very easy, and available in plus sizing. So that made me happy. That looks like um, two of the sweaters I wear to work normally. And if I remember right, it's a chunky yarn, so it was like, oh my god, I'll be done that in no time. So I'm considering knitting that. The other one I liked in this is number 10, this blanket. It is um, another very easy pattern, super bulky yarn, and, okay, sorry, super bulky yarn, and um, it's the pretty scalloped edging is applied after the fact, so really it would just be knitting stockinette and then putting a nice border on it, so it reminded me of um, the cotton blanket that we had in our living room over the armchair when I was growing up, but it was that same color. And so you take a nap after school or whatever and cover up with a blanket. So I like that. And then last but not least, definitely not least, I love this one the most. Um, it's number 12. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't have a name. But it's this great twisted, it looks almost like a tube pattern. Can I see it? I hope I'm doing this well. Um, yeah, so it's like this little cardigan with a nice droopy neck, which is very stylish right now in terms of the cowls like infinity cowls that look that people are wearing so four patterns in here that I really liked and I'm encouraged because Vogue is a little more cutting edge in terms of their styling like you, if you look back at your old Vogue magazines a year or two after they publish a pattern something similar becomes hot and stylish so hey maybe if I knit one of those next year I'll be like oh my god she's so stylish everybody wants to be like her so that's the Vogue knitting review I have for you um, and now let's move on to the drawings. Woo! -hoo. Actually, I am just flying through this. Um, I did get some new yarn this week before we do that. <laughs> some new Knit Picks yarn. So, let me just show you. Uh, I tried, I got some Felici. Everybody loves Felici, right? I thought maybe I'd make Roland uh, just a stripy cap out of that sock yarn. Really lightweight hat because we're going into spring here. And then I tried the Capra and Capretta, the Capra DK and the Capretta, oh, that's their fingering weight, it's an MCN yarn. The Cap Capra DK is 85% merino wool, 15% cashmere, and this color is Regal. It is a beautiful wine color. I had three skeins of it. And it's not something I need. So I'm going to put this up for the drawing for next week. So if you would like to be entered, leave a comment on this week's episode. And what we're going to do is tell me about a someone else's project that you would like to have. So in a sense, you're nominating them. So if, how to say this? Does that make sense to you? I don't know. It's not coming out right. So tell me about someone else's product, project that you like, and that will enter both of you. There we go. Both of you into the drawing for this. Um, I guess the nominator will be up for this. And the 
nominatee. I guess between the two of you, you can pick which one you want. Um, the other yarn that will be available is Schaefer Ann. I don't know if you can see the color very well. This is 60% merino wool superwash, 15% nylon 25% mohair and is 560 yards so this is um, a very light fingering weight yarn it is orange hot pink taupe green purple it's very pretty lots of var variegation in this yarn and it's super soft and the mohair will make it really warm so that one's up there and it has really high yardage and um up for grabs and then these I didn't tell you the yardage on these are 123 so times three that's like 360 70 370 yards on this and it's DK weight so nominate someone else's project tell me about someone else's project that you like and you'll both be entered and one of you will get one and the other will get the other so that's for next week okay enough about next week let's draw for today so the plus one fellows let me Pull the computer over here. All right. Oh, actually, hang on. I can't do that. I need to have the power cord. It already died once on me. So, yeah, it's threatening to die again. All right, there we go. So, first thing I'm going to do is open up the thread on Ravelry, which I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. And... We're going to pause. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm ready. I've got the computer here with Ravelry up. I've got my iPad set to random.org. And it's ready to generate. So for this week, we had 28 people that posted on the thread and shared their projects, which was great. It made my queue grow immensely because, of course, I had to go look at everybody's project and be like, oh, I want to knit that. I want to knit that. So there were some really cute ideas, some really cute shawls and... Um, baby stuff. I don't know. I I haunted you all <laughs> and left comments anywhere, everywhere. So post two through 28 and I'm going to say generate. Da -da 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 -da. The winner is number 21, which let me go to that page. Please hold. Is number 21 is Bionitis. So congratulations to Tracy in Iowa. Yay! You won this gain of that's just that's just so far away. Okay. This gain of yummy, which I caked up. I cake most of the yarn in my stash. But um so that will be headed your way. And it's an aubergine color. I like that word. I've discovered it this week. Which is like an eggplant, eggplant and wine color. So Get in touch with me, Tracy. Send me an email, drop me a PM, uh, Knitting Samurai over on Ravelry, and I'll get that in the mail to you. So, the next drawing I'm going to do is um, a birthday drawing, right? So, I'm really excited about this. So, happy birthday to everyone who has a birthday in March. And based on the member listing, there are quite a few of you. And tomorrow is the 17th so carolyn and anna happy birthday to you tomorrow <laughs> and the rest of you happy birthday for the month i thought i would pull um, one of the 15 of you with march birthdays and do that so going forward there will be al always be a birthday prize month drawing birthday month prize drawing a birthday prize month drawing a birthday month prize drawing so okay so let's do that one next. So we're going to go members 1 through 15, right? Yes, 15. And oh, at the time of this drawing, there are 208 members in the group. So invite your friends to join. Help me out. Okay. <laughs> and I'm hitting generate on 1 through 15, and it came up with... Can you see that? 15. Congratulations to Busy Happy Knitter. <laughs> Busy Happy Knitter. I can't say your name. A R L E T H A. Aretha. Ella? Uh, I'm sorry. Her birthday is March 20th, so happy birthday to you. Um, what are you winning? I didn't even tell you. <laughs> 
I have, I'm giddy, I'm giddy off the prize fumes. Um, two skeins of Classic Elite Star yarn. And this is a 99% cotton, 1% lycra yarn. Um, I'd say it's a worsted weight. Wow, it's raining really hard out. Knit on size 8 needles. And this is a really vibrant green. It's perfect for summer. Spring. Makes me feel happy just looking at it. So, um, oh, and the total yardage, in case you would like to know how much is coming out of my stash to make me extra happy. I can't find it on the label. Oh, 224 yards between the two. So, busy happy knitter, get in touch with me, and these will be in the mail to you. And then, I thought I had one other drawing I was going to do, but perhaps not. But I have something for one other drawing, so I think we're just going to do it. Anyways, regardless. So the last and final drawing, which I'm going to do, just pulling a member at random from the group, um, yeah, is going to be for this set of Inca alpaca. So this is a really soft pink and a beautiful cream color. And this is 100% alpaca, 109 yards, so 220 yards between the two of them, uh, knit on US size 7s. So, I got this yarn to make a um, colorwork hat. That's what I was planning on making with them, but I haven't. And it's just languishing, and it's so soft and wonderful, it deserves to be next to someone's neck. So, come back. You know, maybe next time... I'll be a little more prepared for the prize drawing portion of the show. So we have, as I said, 208 members. And I guess I'm putting one because it's total membership. If I come up, I don't get to keep it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's generate and see. 165. And that is dun, 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 Sandra Rick. Uh, Sandra. <laughs> so you have won these two lovely skeins for yourself. So get in contact. I'll give you guys about a week to get in touch with me and send me your addresses. And I will happily get these out in the mail to you. So I hope you think this is fun. I hope. It encourages you to join the group, not just watch the podcast, and talk about things. So this week, tell me about somebody else's project that you covet and that you want for yourself. And I think that's it. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and I will catch back up with you next week. Take care. Bye.